Emergency managers usually rely on the forecast cone to determine where a storm will go and what kind of effects it can have. Yeah, and the leaders at the National Hurricane Center are making changes to the cone this year for the season ahead. First to know meteorologist Riley Winch has a closer look at what changes you can expect. The experimental changes coming to the forecast cone, which will help keep you safe. I'm first to know meteorologist Riley Winch in the College Town neighborhood at Florida State University. I'm checking in with the National Weather Service and National Hurricane Center about the changes to the upcoming forecast cone and what it means for you. The forecast cone you're used to seeing shows where the center of a storm may be days in the future. The National Hurricane Center based in Miami tells me. Now one of the drawbacks or limitations of the cone is that it's not an impact graphic. Robbie Berg is the warning coordination meteorologist at the National Hurricane Center. He says the traditional cone doesn't give a clear picture of how a storm could impact your neighborhood. Whether it be wind, storm surge, heavy rainfall, tornadoes, any of those hazards can extend well beyond the bounds of the cone itself. Take Hurricane Michael, for example. While much of the Big Bend was removed from the cone the day before landfall, strong winds and storm surge still impacted much of our area. So forecasters are making an adjustment. What we're going to be doing experimentally this year, starting around mid-August, is we'll be including any type of inland hurricane or tropical storm watches and warnings that may be in effect. Uh, and those are actually issued by the local National Weather Service offices, as you guys have one in Tallahassee. So I visited the National Weather Service in Tallahassee for a closer look at how that partnership works to keep you safe. We're hoping to kind of draw focus away from the cone itself. Mark Will is the warning coordination meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Tallahassee. By focusing more on the watches and warnings issued for local counties, different hurricane impacts can be better understood for the neighborhood where you live. That should hopefully motivate folks to rush their uh, preparations to completion. Places like Tallahassee and Valdosta are miles from the coast, but... The wind is a big significant thing here. Also flooding. You know, we've got hilly terrain here, so you could definitely get into a flash flooding scenario and that could be a threat to life. With changes being made, Wool has one hope. I hope the public will just be more prepared and maybe, you know, to, to, I think it'll lessen the chance for people to be taken by surprise. The new forecast cone will debut on August 15th. From the College Town neighborhood, I'm meteorologist Riley Winch. And you can rely on the first to know weather team to keep you informed of any storm tracks as they're issued this season.